Okay, excellent. Let's get started here, guys. Hey, if you guys can hear me okay, do you mind just posting a one in the chat box just so I know that the audio is okay? Okay, thank you so much for that, guys. I appreciate that. Okay, guys, so once again, my name is Stephen Bransfield, and I'm calling in live right now from Miami, Florida, and I'm so excited about the webinar that we have on for you guys tonight. Um, we do have a very, very special guest here. It's a brand new guest. Some of you may not know him. Some of you may know him. Uh, he was a speaker at one of our recently uh, titanium mastermind events in Phuket, Thailand. Uh, his name is Raymond Darren. And out of all the speakers we had at the titanium mastermind, he's one of the most applauded ones. He had really engaging content. And he really let people walk away with some tips and strategies and an idea on how they can actually skyrocket their business and bring it to the next level. So Raymond Aaron, he's a New York Times top 10 best-selling author. He's an internationally renowned thought leader and success coach. He's committed his life to teaching you how to dramatically change your life for the better. And he's one of the most sought after speakers in the world. So tonight, you guys are going to get a step-by-step -step plan on how you can take your business from where you're at to the next level and literally skyrocket your leads, your sales, and your results and position yourself as an expert in the industry because positioning in the industry is one of the most important things for attracting new customers, new distributors, new sales into your business. So tonight, you guys are going to get to learn the same strategies that Raymond has taught on investing, marketing, branding, and business building to all of his students all around the world that his students have actually used his proven techniques and strategies to generate millions of dollars. So with that, I'm so excited. If you guys haven't already, grab a pen and paper for this speaker. He's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, and here he is. Raymond, you out there? Steven, thank you so much. I, I just want to make sure that people can hear me. Is that because I, I don't want to like I'm speaking into a blank wall. It's kind of weird. Actually, guys, if you hear Raymond right now, and Raymond, I'm going to switch the screen over to you. Um, let's do that real quick. Raymond. Okay. All right, Raymond, I just switched it over to you. Tell me if you can see that. I can. Let's see. Did it pop up that I changed the presenter? Yeah. Yes, I can see my control panel and I can see my screen. So can people hear me? Like put a one there so I know you can hear me. Yes. Okay, perfect. Guys, if you can hear Raymond and see his screen right now, and uh, just put a two in the chat box. A two, okay. Yeah, excellent. They're flooding in. A couple hundred comments there for you. Okay, and you can see my screen clearly, Stephen? Looks good. Okay, so I'm, I'm ready to go. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so my name is Raymond Aaron, and I am a New York Times top 10 best-selling author. I have just recently joined Mobile. I am beyond excited. I'm going to do really well because I have certain principles that work, but it's not good enough for me to do well. I want the entire Mo class to do well. I want everyone to do well. 1,100 people registered for this webinar, so it's obvious there's a buzz in the air that what I have to offer is really, really going to help you. Take great notes because I don't want you to wake up tomorrow morning and saying, how do you get rich again? Here's my opportunity right now. So there is a deep secret about wealth, and the funny thing is a secret usually means that they know the secret and they won't tell you, but this is a different kind of secret. This is a secret where rich people have been telling you over and over and over and over and over again what the secret is, but you've never heard them before, and that's why your income isn't as high as you want it to be. But I'm a really good speaker. I'm a really great teacher. I'm going to make sure that you get the secret. So I want you, and I can't see you, so I'm just trusting you're going to do it. I want you to take your left hand, palm parallel to the, to the floor, and I want you to put it at whatever height seems to indicate your level of education and wisdom, like maybe somewhere on eye level, something like that. And then your other hand, your right hand, I want you also to have your palm parallel to the floor. And relative to your left hand, I want you to tell me where your income is. Relative to your education and wisdom, where is your income? And I can see it. I can see you all around the world. You're scratching at the floor for your income, even though your education hand is pretty high. Why? What's the difference? You, ha you are educated. What's wrong? How come your education didn't create the income? Because there's something missing, and it is a secret, and people have been telling you, rich people have over and over again what it is, but you've never heard them. But when I tell you, 
Right now, you are going to hear them. So let's start right from now with the bad news. How much do you earn? Well, I checked. And in the United States, the average income is $40,000. We're going to go through all the states. There's the very bottom one. Mississippi is 31000 but the average is forty. In Australia, the average income is 66000 Aussie dollars. In Canada, I couldn't find the per person income, but I found the household income is 72000 That means everybody in the household has to get together to earn 72000 That's not very much. And also, Kiwi is 27500 in the United Kingdom, it's 26,000 pounds. These are all really, really low numbers. Why, and, and I'm not putting you down if that's what you're earning, and I hope you're earning much more than that, but why is the average so low? Well, there is a secret and I'll be revealing it. And I know you're ready for a change. I know you want to be in the top 1%. Well, write this down. This is how much you have to earn to be in the top 1%. In Canada, it's a quarter million dollars. In the United States, it's almost, it's just over a third of a million. UK, 200,000 uh, pounds sterling. Why? Why? Why is there such a difference? Why aren't you earning that much? Now, you might be saying, oh my God, I'd love to earn that much, but it must be so difficult. I look at these numbers as so tiny. I say, how on earth do you go to work all year, every day, all year, and keep your income? that low how do you do it and I'm not being I'm not being patronizing because I'm gonna tell you with my own life how lousy my life was when I was 39 years old it was pathetic you are nowhere near as lousy a situation as I was in when I was 39 years old and so now when I tell you that these numbers are small to me that I've often earned that in a month often earned that in a month I sometimes earned it in a week I've sometimes earned it occasionally in an individual day in fact my best ever was earning a million dollars in 90 minutes. A million dollars in 90 minutes using the secret I can't wait to tell you. So let's get started. Now look at that indistinguishable bin of nails. The problem is that when you don't stand out, when you don't have authority, when you're not branded, when you're in the sea of sameness, you're an indistinguishable nail in the bin. And how do you tell people that you don't count, that you don't matter? I mean you don't want to say that, but you do. There's a way that you do it, and it's terrible, and I'm going to alert you to it now so you can stop. Let's say that you're a plumber, and someone says, hi, what do you do? You say, I'm a plumber. A, a plumber. Do you get it? You say, I'm a plumber. Now, you don't emphasize the death word, a, uh, like I just did, but nevertheless, you say, I'm a plumber, but you mean I'm a plumber. A uh means that I'm nothing special. I'm, I'm not different from anybody else. Choose me. Choose another plumber. Who cares? We're all the same. Now, you don't mean it, but that's what you say. And when you say it, your words actually matter. When you say, I'm a pharmacist, I'm a electrician, I'm a doctor, I'm a internet marketer, I'm a mob affiliate. If, if you talk like that, people will take you at your word and say, well, I guess if you're not that special, why bother signing up under you? I want to sign up under someone who is special. Now, you are special. You are a wonderful person, and you have special characteristics, but you hide them by the way that you explain yourself. You, you tell people that you're in the sea of sameness, and when you're in the sea of sameness, your income is way lower than it should be. I want you to escape the sea of sameness. I want you to rise above sea level. You need to be up onto the island of individuality. When you're there, people salute you. They say, oh my gosh, you're amazing. And there's a way to have people say wow about you. I'm going to be teaching you all that in this presentation. But if you don't have it, then life will seem unfair to you. And I don't want life to be unfair to you. I don't want your mob commissions to be low. I don't want your regular business or employment to earn you far less than it should. I'm going to teach you right in this workshop exactly how to do it. So take great notes. You must climb the four-rung ladder of wealth. How many rungs? four rungs. The first rung is not wealth. That's the funny thing. Broke people think if you want wealth, you should go get wealth, but it doesn't work. You have to go up the ladder. The first step is visibility. If you want wealth, you must first get visibility. Every wealthy person, every single wealthy person is highly visible. Once they have visibility, the next thing that you need is credibility. Visibility means they know of you. Credibility means they like you. If you have visibility and credibility, you can't stop the wealth from coming in. 
If you have visibility and credibility, you cannot stop the wealth from coming in. Now, I promised you four rungs, and I've only delivered three. I'm in trouble. I might, if I don't tell you a fourth one, my brand's in jeopardy. But there is a fourth one, but it's in the dark side. It's in the wrong direction. It's invisibility. 97% of people in the Western world are complete people. Let me, tell, let me give you an example of what that means. Let's say a woman loses her salary job. She does two things. Number one, she updates her resume. Number two, she sends her resume to total, you guessed it, to total strangers. Why does she send it to total strangers? Because she doesn't know anybody and nobody knows her. That means she's completely invisible. 97% are completely invisible. Now, there's 1,100 people who've registered for this. That means 900 or, or 950 of the 1,100 people or almost 1,000 of the people on the line are completely invisible, and that's why your income is lower than you want. That's why you work harder than you need to get the income that you're getting. Where is life the easiest? At the top. Where do you want to be? At the top. I know that about you, and I'm going to get you there. But you typically have to take one step at a time, which is very long and arduous task. But there is a two-step, and I'm the only one in the world who figured it out. Luckily, the two-step starts from invisibility, which is where 97% of people are, and it gobbles up visibility and credibility all at once. But I've already taught you that if you have visibility and credibility, you cannot stop the wealth from coming in. I, let me tell you about me personally, I cannot stop the wealth from coming in. I earn an enormous amount of money, and I can't stop it. You know how to stop it. Just don't show up for work for a couple months. But that doesn't work for me. I have so much residual income. I've many times showed up, not showed up for work for long periods of time. The money still pours in. Would you like to have a life like that? Would you like to have income like that? Would you like to have a business like that? That's exactly where we're going in this hour. So I'm going to tell you right now the little known way to get everything that you want. It's the most brilliant idea I've ever come up with. Here it is. Get ready. Write it down. You must have your own book. You must have your own book. Now, hold on. Don't run away and say, oh, my God, I can't write English. English is my second language. I don't know enough. No, just relax. I've helped thousands of people do this. Give me the benefit of the doubt. Just listen to me for this hour. You'll be blown away by how a book, how easy it is to write a book, especially with my aid, and how powerful the book is to help you. Your book means your voice will be heard. Right now, there's so many marketing messages on radio and television. Every truck that goes by says, drink Coke or eat chips. Every car that goes by has got an ornament that says whether it's a Lexus or a Tesla. There, there's advertising everywhere. How on earth is your voice going to be heard? When you say to somebody, register for Moog, how do they hear you? I'm, 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 I know what you mean. You're standing right in front of them. But I mean, psychologically, they have so much coming at them. Why will your voice stand out? And it will stand out when you're branded. I'm going to teach you that. Somewhere, someone is looking for exactly what you have to offer, but there's so much noise out there, they just can't find you. And all mob objections vanish when you have a book. It's one thing to say to somebody, come on, sign up, you'll really like it, it's only $49 and then you can pay $2,500. You know, it's easy to say that, but then they say, well, you know, do you have a PhD, and are you a therapist, and how much money have you made, and they just go on and on and on, bugging you with all these issues. But when you have a book, they're just blown away. They say, oh my gosh, he's written a book on the subject. Oh my gosh, and you will see a shocking difference. A shocking difference. I'm sure you've heard of Dr. John Gray, who wrote, he wrote the book, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. Well, I asked him if he would change one thing in his life, and he told me, I'd rather have a book than a PhD. I'd rather have a book than a PhD. When I challenged him and said, are you crazy? Why would you not want to have a PhD? He said, it doesn't do me any good. He said, Raymond, call up a radio station and say, I have a PhD. Do you want to interview me? They'll say, no, of course they don't want to interview you. A PhD is not as good as a book. Having a book means you can indeed aim higher. Yes, you can aim higher. Your income will be well higher. Now, when I say income, I'm talking to you as a MOBE affiliate, and so you could be thinking of your MOBE income, and that's great. 
because I'm going to have very soon a high mobile income. I just joined like a couple of days ago, and my launch is uh, this weekend. And you also could be thinking about your other income. Maybe you're full time working as a professional, as a tradesman, as an employee, as a small business person, as an internet marketer. Whatever is your your full time job, you could be wanting to increase that, or you could be wanting to increase your MOBE affiliate income, whatever it is that you want, this process will do it for you. I want to get you out of the bottom half, and I know you want to get there too. I'm going to get you into the top 1%. How? By writing a book, but you have to write a book the correct way. There are 31 marketing messages that must be in your book. Write that down. This is the biggest, most important thing I'm going to say to you. There must be 31 marketing messages embedded subtly in your book. If you don't embed all 31 marketing messages, it'll be a dead book. It'll have lots of content, but it'll sit in your garage. Why? Because without the marketing messages, the book's not going to fly off the shelf. No one's going to be interested in it. It won't make you the money that you want. I teach you not just to have a book, but to have a book with 31 marketing messages embedded in it. I just gave a coaching session to our leader, Matt Lloyd, just two days ago telling him what some of those marketing messages are to make sure that he got all of them in the book that he's writing this weekend. And if our leader is writing a book, we got to write a book. I've written eight books. I am a New York Times top 10 best-selling author. I know you've heard of the Chicken Soup for the Soul series of books. I am the only man on earth that has written two Chicken Soup for the Soul books. I wrote Chicken Soup for the Parent Soul and Chicken Soup for the Canadian Soul. I also wrote a For Dummies book. I'm sure you heard of the For Dummies series. I wrote Branding Small Business for Dummies, and in fact, I'm the only person in the world who's ever done a Chicken Soup book and a For Dummies book. And so I, I understand books, and even more than that, I understand how to make it really easy for you to write a book really quickly. And when you do, wealth will come to you. Opportunities of all kinds will come to you. Income, media, patients, clients, down payments, investors, joy of all kinds will come to you when you have a book. And I'm going to prove it to you right now, not giving you some testimonial of some guy you've never heard of, me, my own life. This is my own life. When I was born, I was broke. Maybe some of you have had that same experience. And then when I graduated university, interestingly, as a physicist, I took a job that I didn't particularly like. So I took it out on a substance, and the substance of my abuse was food. I gained 50 pounds. That's about four stone. It's about, I don't know, 20 kilo. And I got very fat, and I got very sick because of that. And my boss noticed I wasn't working very hard, so he fired me. I went home and told my wife my woes, and she dumped me out of our marriage. I also lost all of my real estate. I was a 39-year-old life loser. $100,000 in debt and depressed. A 39-year-old life loser, $100,000 in debt and completely depressed. I was sitting on a park bench, and of course you know why. It's the only thing I could afford. And a guy sat down beside me and said he was a coach. I said, so go help some kids with peewee soccer. What do I care? I mean, I was rude to the guy. Why? Because I'm really smart. I have a Mensa IQ, the top 2% of IQ in the entire world. I told you I graduated as a physicist, and yet... 20 years after graduation, my life was in the toilet. I didn't understand why I was broken in debt. My stupid friends were all rich. I couldn't figure anything out. And the, uh, the coach who sat down beside me says, I don't help kids with peewee soccer. What I do is I help adults like you get rich. I said, all right, take me on. And I'll tell you something, I borrowed the money from my mother in order to take his course. I borrowed the money. I said, you know what? If I keep doing what I'm currently doing, I'm going to keep getting what I currently got. I don't want what I currently got. I want to have more, not because I'm greedy, but because I wanted to give to charity. I wanted to make a difference in people's lives. I wanted to travel. I wanted to see the world. I, I wanted to have a life. I didn't even have a life. I was so upset and mad and confused. And so he took me on. I, I did anything, and this is a big lesson to you. If you're unhappy with your income, learning is the difference. Knowledge gives you more responsibility, gives you more control, and control equals income. So you have to get the knowledge no matter what the cost is. And uh, Matt Lloyd has twisted my arm and asked me to give a special webinar MOBE discount, which I'm doing, which will blow you away. 
Anyway, so let's keep going. The turning point of my life was when that coach said, okay, if you want to get rich, then you have to do the things that rich people do. So he said, what do rich people do that broke people don't do? And I said, well, I don't know. Maybe they got the right skin color. He said, no. And he gave me examples of people with every skin color who were rich and every skin color who were broke. I said, I don't know. And their parents have the right religion. He gave me examples of people with every different religion who were broke or rich. I said, I don't know, tall. And he gave me examples of people who were tall, who were rich, and, and very short who were rich. I tried everything. I tried parents were still married. I, I tried everything. I, I, you know, I get, get up early, I tried. Went to university, but Bill Gates and Steve Jobs both dropped out of school. So I said, I can't figure it out. I don't know the difference. And he said, okay, take a sheet of paper. On one side, write broke. On the other side, write rich. And I want you to write down the names of 10 of your friends, your coworkers, your, of course, I was unemployed, but when I had a job, and my family members and my neighbors, so I wrote down 10, and he said, how many of them have written a book? I said, none of them. Are you crazy? None of them have written a book. And then he said, you don't know any rich people, but write down the names of rich people. So I wrote down the names of 10 rich people, and he said, now go down that list. Who has a book? I said, oh, my gosh, all of them. He said, have you noticed a difference? It's not height. It's not good looks. It's not gender. It's not skin color. It's not university education. It's not religion. It's whether or not they've written a book. Every single person who's famous and wealthy has written a book. Every single person who's broke or struggling does not have a book. I said, oh, my God, book is the difference. I should write a book. He said, well, that's good. What should you write a book on? I said, oh, I got a great title, How to Become a 39-Year-Old Life Loser, Seven Proven Techniques. Now, this is a joke. I didn't actually write that book. Maybe I should for fun. But um, with the book that I actually did write, was you can make a million in Canadian real estate. And it took me one year to write this book. Was it worth it? Well, when I finished the book, I showed it to my mother, and my mother said, why do you have a broken picket fence across the bottom? I said, Mom, those are houses. I drew them myself. She said, son, you could have done a better job when you were four. Anyways, the book came out. Now, that book doesn't look that proper. That's not a very exciting cover. But I want to blow you away by telling you what that book did for me. That book which is not as good a book as you will be doing because I'm a way better coach than that guy was for me. Wait till you see what that book did for me. From age 39 to age 40, I got out of $100,000 of debt. It was the first time I was out of debt in my entire adult life. And from age 40 to age 41, I became a millionaire and I've never looked back. And that's my curve, that's my story, that's my graph, that's what happened to me when I took the advice of writing that book. 20 years of a crap life, total failure, and suddenly I'm this wild success. And the difference, you got it, the difference was that I wrote a book under guidance so that it was the correct book. So come into my life now. I'm sure you recognize Jack Canfield, one of the most famous men in the entire world, the co-creator of the Chicken Soup for the Soul series of books. I'm a dear friend of his. We call each other brother, and we go on a one-week vacation twice every year together. Robert Allen, one of my dear, dear friends, the greatest real estate teacher living today. I think you can see me in this picture. I'm not exactly sure. That was a dinner that I had with Tony Robbins and Bill Clinton. Les Brown, one of the greatest speakers in the world. Lou Dobbs, the star of CNN. Mark Victor Hansen, one of the greatest motivational speakers in the world. Bruce Dickinson, the lead singer of Iron Maiden. Stedman Graham, Oprah's boyfriend, Brett Michaels, the rock star, Dave Hester, the, the star of the TV show Star Wars. It's not Star Wars. What am I saying? Storage Wars. Rudy Giuliani, the mayor of New York during 9-11. Bob Proctor, Sir Richard Branson, Robert Kiyosaki, Brian Tracy, Gene Simmons, the lead singer of Kiss. If you don't recognize him, let me help you. Yeah, maybe that will help you recognize him. But not just that, Brian Mulroney, the Prime Minister of Canada, Steve Wozniak, the only living co-founder of Apple Computers, Dr. John Gray, Donald Trump, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and best of all, Shrek. Now, I, I put in Shrek because I don't want you to think that I have a swelled head. I don't want you to think that I was boasting. I, the only reason I show you that I'm friends with all those super famous people is that when I was 39, not one of them had any interest in me. Why would they be interested in somebody who couldn't put anything together? 
but now that I've written a book, suddenly they're all interested in me. And when you have friends who are that rich and famous, then it, I can send a text message to one of those people and they could do a favor for me that you may not be able to get done in 20 years. So if I can do in a text message which you couldn't do in 20 years, then I can earn way more than the average person. In fact, I'll tell you, I'll break down and tell you. I earn each year what you, and now when I say you, I don't mean you personally, I mean the average person in the Western world, what you earn in one and a half lifetimes. That means you have to get born, which is pretty painful, and then endure 20 years of going to school, and then work for 40 years, then retire and die, and then hope your religion includes reincarnation, and then get born, which as I said is painful, endure 20 years of education, and then work for half a lifetime. And all that will get you what I'm earning this year. And that's not what was happening before age 39. Before age 39, I was a total loser. What happened? What's the difference? And you know the difference. The difference is I wrote a book. It's not what you know, and it's not who you know. It's who knows you. And the most famous people in the world know me and want to know me because I wrote a book. You see, what they say to me is, if you haven't written a book, then what you're saying is you have nothing of significance to say to the world. Well, if you have nothing significant to say, why should a wealthy person listen to you? But as soon as I wrote a book, suddenly Sir Richard Branson was interested in me. Suddenly all these interesting and famous people became my friends. Now here's a big insight for you. If you're important, you've written a book. So if you've written a book, you must be important. And that's that's how people will view you. Let me give you another big insight. Everyone says, I'm going to write a book and sell a million copies. Well, maybe you will, maybe you won't. The conventional wisdom is that you go out and sell your book, but you already have a job. You're already working in Moab. How many other jobs do you want, for gosh sakes? I don't want you to have another job of selling your book. Here's my dazzling unconventional wisdom, and that is the book sells you. If you write a book called the uh, book on internet marketing or the, the book on making money when you sleep or something like that, and you're approaching somebody to join you in Moab, and they say, oh, you have this interesting internet marketing thing? Wow, tell me about it. And you say, well, I wrote the book on uh, getting rich while you sleep. You did? Oh, my gosh. I'd love to join you. Do you get it? it that's the psychology. That's the emotion. That's how it works. So let me show you how much a book can help you. You can go from an employee to a higher salary employee, but maybe you don't like your job. Here's an example of a lady who sure doesn't like her job. So if you don't like your job, you can go from an employee to owning your own business. You can go from tradesman to a more successful tradesman. You can go from salesman to a far more successful salesman. You can go from being in business to being in a more profitable business. You can go from a MOBE affiliate to a highly profitable MOBE affiliate. Way, way higher income than you are now and move up the scale from titanium to platinum to diamond. You can just race up the ladder and dramatically increase your income when you're branded by having a book. When you have a book, you will be known more. You will be known more and of the four rungs of the wealth ladder, you'll be known more is the visibility one. That gives you the visibility. And as long as you behave, not only will they know you, they'll like you. And if they know you and like you, you will not be able to stop the wealth from coming in, and that's a good deal. But you have to solve some problems. And you think the problem is writing the book. Depart. When I help you write your book, man, it easily, it, it comes together easily. The first problem you have to solve is the forward scandal. The forward is the one-page letter at the beginning of a book written by somebody famous. And the problem is you can hire somebody famous and pay them up to $500,000 to make it look like they're your friend. But it's a scam because they're not your friend. You're just paying them. So you must have a forward. It must be written by a celebrity, but you cannot pay for it. Will Smith charges $1 million. Donald Trump charges $1 million. Gwyneth Paltrow charges half a million dollars. You want her to write a forward for you? That's how much you have to pay. But I don't want you to do that. Do not do that. 
because it's a scandal. It, it implies they're your best friends and they're not. The second problem is the cover problem. It took my dear friend Jack Canfield 11 months and tens of thousands of dollars in order to get the cover for his Chicken Soup of the Soul books. You think writing the book is tough? That ain't the tough part. The tough part is the cover. I'm just alerting you to it now so that you're not surprised when you tear your hair out trying to design a cover. Number three is the publishing problem. What everybody does is they start their book, they finish their book, they send it to a hundred publishing companies and then they get a hundred rejection letters. That doesn't work. Broke people seek out what doesn't work and do it. Listen carefully. You may not have heard me because you may think you, you may think I, I went crazy or something, but listen carefully. Broke people find what doesn't work and then they do it. They know that spending years to write a book and then the expense of sending a hundred copies to publishers around the world and then getting a hundred rejection letters is a lousy idea because it doesn't produce any results and yet that's what they do. They find out what doesn't work and they do it. I'm going to tell you what does work. Don't start your book until you have a publisher and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And then the fourth is the official book launch. You must have an official book launch. It's expensive. I have to admit it's expensive. You have to rent a big hotel room. You have to have a sound system. You have to invite some celebrities. You have to invite the press. It's a big deal. And the reason you have to have it is because I don't want your book to whimper out. I want your book to explode out. So there's got to be hundreds of people there. And I've solved this problem for you also. And the fifth is the most important procrastination. You don't want to procrastinate. You want to get your book out. And the funny thing is, people take pride in being unable to write a book. They take pride in being unable to write a book. I know it's weird. People come up to me all the time and they say, Oh, Mr. Aaron, I've had a book inside me for 25 years. They're proud of their procrastination. It's crazy. Well, the way I've overcome procrastination, because I'm a human, the way I overcome procrastination is I've created this job description called My Personal Book Architect. And I've trained her. I've trained her to do the exact things I need to do to make sure that book gets done with no procrastination. My Personal Book Architect, one of the most brilliant inventions I've ever, ever done. So those are the five problems. Now, new topic. Every wealthy person and every successful company is branded. Branded. And you need to be branded too. There are four ways to brand yourself. I'm going to tell you what the four ways are, and you choose the one that suits your needs the best. Technique number four is branding by association. Association means who do you hang with? Who are you friends with? And I showed you pictures of almost a hundred of the most famous people in the entire world. And I know that when you saw me with each of these people, you were saying, oh my gosh, wow, if people like that uh, want to be with Raymond, then he must be wealthy, he must be wise, he must be tall and good looking, I'm just joking. And that means I'm branded by association, but you may not have very wealthy colleagues. That's okay. You've only blown one technique out of four. Technique number three is branding by testimonial. That means somebody, hopefully a very big person, says something very nice about you. I'm sure you've heard of Robert Kiyosaki, the number one wealth teacher in the entire world. He wrote the incredible book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. But what I like better is his second book, Cashflow Quadrant. Have you heard of Cashflow Quadrant? I think that you have. It's my favorite of all of his books. And here's what Robert Kiyosaki says about me. I thank Raymond Aaron and his tapes on goal setting for helping me achieve more with less stress. Robert Kiyosaki said, I thank Raymond Aaron and his tapes on goal setting for helping me achieve more with less stress. You might say, how do I know he said that? And that's a very good question. It's legitimate for you to ask and you'll be shocked because he wrote it on page 187 of his second book. He wrote that on page 187 of his second book and there is a picture of it. That's an actual photograph of a page of his book, page 187. I thank Raymond Aaron and his tape on goal setting for assisting me in achieving more with a lot less stress. Robert Kiyosaki was my client. Why? Because I wrote eight books. He stood up and saluted me. He might be the wisest wealth teacher in the whole world and yet he hired me to work with him because I wrote a book. 
Are you getting the message? There's no way on earth I could have come up to him and said, Hi, Mr. Kiyosaki, I love you. I've read all of your books. Why don't you pay me money? There's no way. But when he found out I was an author, he immediately was interested in working with me. And that's how it works. They don't ask questions. They don't ask for credentials. They don't say, let me sleep on it. They don't say, I need spousal approval. They don't do any of that. They just fall all over themselves wanting to work with you and wanting to give you money. When a big person says something that big about me, that's a big deal. But you may not have great testimonials. That's okay. You've only blown two ways out of four. There's still hope for you. Technique number two is branding by achievement. And I have been in the who's who every single year for the last 29 years. And in every one of those years, I've been on the very first page, though that's mostly for alphabetical reasons. And I'm internationally syndicated on radio shows around the world. I've done two pilots to have my own one hour a week television show. And I was one of 40 teachers in the world filmed for the blockbuster hit movie, The Secret. I have purchased over 1,100 properties across the country in the last 42 years. That's half a billion dollars worth of real estate bought and sold. Those are some of my giant credentials, just some of them. But you may not have giant achievements. That's okay. You've blown three ways out of four. You better hope that the number one technique will work for you. And it's branding by wow. Branding by wow. When someone says wow about you, you are branded. And when you're branded, people throw money at you. You can raise your prices. You can raise whatever you want, and they'll pay it gladly. And what is the easiest wow? The very easiest wow is to tell someone that you wrote a book. When you say that, they say wow. And every time you um, do something that has them say wow again, your brand gets shinier and shinier, and your income rises. It took me four years to write Chicken Soup for the Parent Soul, New York Times top 10 best-selling book. It took me four years to write Chicken Soup for the Canadian Soul, a number one bestseller in Canada. It took me one year, I got a little better, to write my hardcover bestseller, Double Your Income, Doing What You Love. And my latest book, Branding Small Business for Dummies, I'm not selling. I will not sell that book. I will not let my giant wisdom go for 20 bucks. That book is so powerful. There's so much unique wisdom in that book. By the way, I'm releasing a lot of that wisdom in this webinar right now. But when you come to one of my live courses, I often give that away as a gift of my live courses. But it's not for sale anywhere in the world. I will not sell it. You can go to Amazon, but you won't find it there. And you can even go to my website, Branding Small Business for Dummies, Dot com, but you won't find it for sale there either. There's no way to get it. There's no way I will not sell that book. But I want to tell you something amazing about that book, and that is how long did it take me to write it? And the answer is 10 hours. 10 hours. It took me 10 hours to write that book. And I teach you how to write a book in 10 hours. I know it's hard to believe, but it's absolutely true. I wrote a book, I got rich. You want rich? Then you need to write a book, but not in one to four years, not in six months. The giant breakthrough is you can write a book in 10 hours. Now, if you are skeptical and you say, I don't think you can write a book in 10 hours, then I have a special deal for you. You can write your book in 20 hours, no extra charge. You have a book inside of you. It's way past time to get it out. It's time for a change. It's time to cure invisibility. It's time to climb the ladder of wealth. It's time for transformational change in your life. It's time to write a book. But, now here are all your excuses. Let's get rid of all your lame excuses right now. But I don't have time. Well, according to Wikipedia, the average person in the Western world watches 11 hours of television a week, and it only takes 10 hours to write your book. That means you can write 52 books this year and still watch your favorite TV show. But English isn't my first language. It doesn't matter. First of all, you can write in your native language. But second of all, your book has to be edited. Every book has to be edited. So if you write your book very well, or you write your book full of punctuation mistakes and spelling mistakes and grammar errors 
and run on sentences, it doesn't matter because after the editor does her magic, your book will look beautiful. So don't worry about that. But I've never written anything before. Well, this, wait till you hear it. Every single person who's ever sat down to write their first book has never written a book before. I'm helping thousands of people write their very first book. That is no excuse. But I don't know what to write about. That actually is a good reason. And that's why I personally work with you. I personally work with you. I personally work with you just like I personally worked with our leader, Matt Lloyd, just a couple days ago. I personally work with you. You might say, Raymond, how, you don't have the time. I actually do have the time. You're the one that has no time. I run 40 businesses, brands, and cash gushing websites, and I have lots of time. I have so much time that I have to take vacations just to mop up all the time I have. So if you have any difficulty whatsoever or even have any questions, I personally, I personally work with you to make sure that your book gets done and that you know exactly what to write about. But I'm just an employee. Then get ready for raises, promotions, and job offers because your boss doesn't have, hasn't written a book. No one in your whole company has written a book. But I'm a mobile internet marketer. Then you'll effortlessly attract new clients to you because you're branded. You'll effortlessly attract new clients to you because you're branded. But shouldn't I wait till I launch my business? Now this is for someone who hasn't started their business yet. And the answer is, of course you'll know more in a few years, but why would you want to work unbranded for a few years and struggle for a few years? What I say is if you haven't launched your business yet, write your book immediately. And if you learn a lot over the next few years, then write a sequel when you learn more. But you should never run any business whatsoever until you've written a book. I'm a coach to many people around the world, and I start the same way. I said, if you're serious, you have to write a book. I mean, just otherwise, you're just not serious. Otherwise, you're just an indistinguishable nail in the bin. Otherwise, you're just drowning in the sea of sameness. And you don't want to drown in the sea of sameness. You want to get up onto that wonderful island of individuality. You want to float down that river of relevant differentiation. I know that you do, but without a book, it will not happen. You'll struggle like everybody else. Even if you're earning well, it's way less than you should be earning. But I don't know much. That's not true. You actually know much more than your readers because you're writing a book on something that you love and so therefore you spent more time thinking about it than the people who read your book. But I don't like promoting myself. Well, that's perfect because the book will do it for you. The book will do it for you. When does it start? Well, Moeb has authorized me to do something very, very special for you. I, I feel like saying tonight, but for some of you it's the morning, and some of you it's the middle of the evening if you're all around the world. So you'll have an opportunity in about half an hour or less in order to get into this amazing program and then you'll set your start date maybe in a week or a day but what I've noticed is the people who get their book done the fastest are the ones who start the fastest so there's a, there is an instructional video you play the video and they're all very short the first one is the longest and it's 12 minutes all the others are seven minutes you play the video and you do the homework sometimes the homework is only one minute long one minute long so you play the brief video and you do the, the very brief homework, and then you submit it to us so we can check it and know your progress and congratulate you. And then you play the second video and do the brief homework. And when you play the last video, you're holding your book in your hand. That's how simple it is. So when you get started, play the first video as soon as you can to get started. But my friends will laugh at me. No, they won't. They'll be dazzled, and you know that. How much does it cost? It costs as much as a small car. But if you can't afford it, you better join. What do I mean by that? If you've been working for 5, 10, 20, 30 years and you, and, and, and you don't have a few thousand dollars to rub together to invest in yourself, then you better do something different. And this is the most powerful something different you're ever, ever going to come across. Be yourself. Everybody else is taken. You need to stand out. You need to be special. And here's my legacy. I've created this amazing program, The Ultimate Author's Marketing Guide, and it's a three thousand dollars. I'm not offering it. I'm not offering this here, but I'm just proud of it. And it's a, it's a six audio program that will show you how you, as a professional, as a tradesman, as a salesperson, as an employee, as an entrepreneur, internet marketer, can make way more money because of your book. 
So it'll it'll teach you how to sell your book, but you can make far more money by having the book sell you. It's three thousand dollars. I'm not selling it here. I'm just proud of it. Now my program is called Ten Ten Ten. You write a book of ten chapters of your own words in ten hours of your own time, and be holding the finished book in your hand in only ten weeks. That's amazing. How have books helped me? I have lots of residual income and I have lots of free time. Because of my books, I take a one-week vacation every single month. I have ten pages like this showing all the incredible places that I visited for a week at a time, and I don't want to show all of them that you'll start drooling. But I'm telling you, I had I had the horrible life. I told you how horrible my life was at age 39. Now I lead this blessed life. Not only do I take a one-week vacation every month, but I also get ready for this, take a one-month vacation every year. A one-month vacation every year. I slept on that beach in Fiji for a month. I went whitewater canoeing in the high Arctic for a month. I went to the Ecuadorian rainforest for a month. I had a one-month honeymoon in New Zealand. I had a one-month vacation trekking around the Annapurna Mountains of Nepal. I spent a month in South Africa. I did a double crossing of the Sahara Desert by Jeep and Camel for a month. I actually spent four months touring all through Europe. I had a one-month vacation in Australia, one month in Bali, one month in Croatia. But my best, my best, my best vacation ever was Antarctica. What a blessed continent that is. And there I took the best picture I've ever taken in my life. Do you want to see it? Good, because I brought it. Yes, that's me. I took my tuxedo to Antarctica. There I am with a king penguin, and behind my head is 150,000 king penguins. I'm the one on the left. So is that the life that you want? I have no debt. I have high income. I have very high wealth. I have a gorgeous new home. I have high residual income, and I have lots of time off to do whatever I want. Is that what you want? Is that the life that you want? Did I have that life at age 39? No. Do I have that life now? Yes. What was the turning point? I wrote a book. Yes, that was it. That was the decision. And one of the things I do with my money is I've created a foundation called Eyes of Children. And Eyes of Children is the foundation. The website is, of course, eyesofchildren.com. And that what that does is it sends ophthalmologists from England, Hong Kong, Canada, and the United States to places in the world where there is war and where kids are going blind. And these ophthalmologists do surgeries on these children to recover or save their eyesight. Many children in the world can see because of my foundation. And I know that you're interested, so I'm not going to tell you about my program. I'm going to tell you the guarantees of my program because I play a big game. I play a big game. I don't just tell you about my program. I guarantee my program. So the very first guarantee has to do with I don't know what to write about. I don't know what to write about. And guarantee number one is I personally work with you to get you a perfect target audience, a perfect topic, a perfect title, and a perfect subtitle. Guarantee number two, I hope you're writing this down, guarantee number two has to do with the perfect book length. Because you see, if the book is too fat, it'll intimidate people and nobody will want to read it. If the book is too thin, people will think it's just a marketing brochure and they won't believe that you've written a book. So unless the book is the exact correct length, it's not going to work. Guarantee number three has to do with the dreaded cover problem. Do you remember it'll take you months and months of your life and tens of thousands of dollars to get a cover? Wait till you see this. Guarantee number three, you'll have a professional cover in under 30 minutes absolutely for free. That is my guarantee number three to you. That is amazing. Guarantee number four has to do with when do I start making money? This is probably the best guarantee. Guarantee number four is you'll have more authority before you even start writing your book. You'll have more authority before you even start writing your book. Write down this line. It's eight words long. I am the author of the upcoming book. I am the author of the upcoming book. When you say that, people will salute. They'll be amazed. They'll say, wow, and you won't even have started writing your book. You can start saying that tonight. But you might say, oh, Raymond, you don't understand. My burdens are just too heavy. My burdens are just too heavy. Well, you know what? You can think that way, but here's the way I prefer to think. 
you can go way further with a book. Because I could have died, I could have committed suicide, I could have gotten fat and sick and died when I was 39, because that's the direction I was going. But I turned my life around by writing a book, a good book that I had help of somebody to write. And when you write a book under my guidance, it will be a great book, and it will give you the branding you need to dramatically increase your income, either from your, your job or your business, or from your MOVE affiliate. But this is even huger. Guarantee number five has to do with what's the deadline to get all this done. You'll love this. I give you one entire year to get your book done, and it only takes 10 weeks, which is two and a half months. I'm giving you 12 months. Why? I just want to make sure you get your book done. Now, the forward scandal. The forward scandal is that you have to have a celebrity writing your forward, but you can't pay for it. So wait till you see this. Guarantee number six is that I will write the forward for you. Let me show you what that looks like. Right on the cover, you can see two-thirds of the way down, it says forward by Raymond Aaron, New York Times bestselling author. So that means today you can call a friend and say, I am the author of the upcoming book on, and then whatever you do, um, network marketing, mobile marketing, you say I'm the author of the upcoming book on, they'll say, wow. You say, I've also got a New York Times top 10 bestselling author to write the forward for me, and they'll say, wow, again. And the more times they say, wow, the easier it is for them to want to buy from you, to join Moog, to become your patient, your client, sign contracts with you, buy your stuff, whatever it is, it's easy, easy, easy. You can turn the tables on adversity when you have a book. You can turn the tables on adversity when you have a book. And here is the hugest, by far the very hugest, you'll end procrastination forever. How? Because guarantee number seven is that you get to use my personal book architect. You get to use my personal book architect to make sure your book gets done. You might say, well, what's the power of a personal book architect? Well, let me explain it to you. You know that I say that you're going to be holding your finished book in your hand in only 10 weeks. However, because of the personal book architect, Chinmay Swami wrote his book in only six weeks. And there you can see it, Run Before You Walk. When I announced that, Edo Tukia said, forget about that, and he wrote his book in 22 days. Well, when I announced that he had the record, David Boswell said, no way, and he wrote The Midlife Opportunity in 19 days. When I announced that he had the record, Naval Kumar said, no way, and he wrote How to Fire Your Boss in 10 Weeks, and he wrote that book in 14 days. And then drum roll, please, because the world record holder is Effie Angel Canera, who wrote this little number, Get Your Sexy Back, in 10 days. From the day she registered, which would be like today, 10 days from now, her book was not only finished, edited, formatted, she found a publisher with my help, and it was printed, and the box was sent to her, and she opened it, and she took the first copy out and took a selfie and texted it to me in 10 days. You can be earning more money tonight, and you can be holding your book in your hand in 10, in, in 10 weeks, but possibly in as little as 10 days like Effie Angel Canera did. And I'm soon going to release the website address to you so that you can enroll. And there's many people on the line who are saying, let me in already, I want to buy this thing. And I have to tell you, it's limited admission. There's 1,100 people who've registered for this program, and I'm allowing a small number in because we have just recently published 67 books last month, and so I'm only allowing 67 people in, and 1,100 people registered. So it's going to be a mad rush. So get your computer ready. When I tell you the website domain name, you're going to have to race like crazy because we cut it off when we get to that 67. So here's the next guarantee. What if my book isn't published? What will happen? Well, wait till you see guarantee number eight. I own a publishing company, and I will publish your book. I own a publishing company, and I will publish your book. It's called 101010 Publishing, and you keep 100% of the profits, not just 6% royalty, 100% of the profits because my publishing company is a nonprofit entity. So not only do I write the forward for you, but I also publish the book for you. Guarantee number nine has to do with what will Raymond do if I write other books? And here's the amazing answer. I will publish every book you ever write. I'll publish every book you ever write. Guarantee number 10, these are amazing. 
how will I sell my book? And the answer is, I will list it on Amazon.com for you, but not just on .com. There's actually 11 Amazons around the world. There's one in South Africa. There's one in Canada. There's one in England. There's 11 of them around the world. And the funny thing is, when you list your book on Amazon.com, they do not co-list it on all the others around the world. They do not. I don't know why. They should, but they don't. Furthermore, I list it for you in a special way where they don't need any inventory. I, I tick off a little box that you would likely never find that allows them to print one copy whenever someone orders it, so you never have to give them any inventory at all. It's the only way to go, but people don't know how to do that. And then guarantee number 11, which is the final one and maybe the best one, how will I promote my book? Get ready. I hope you're sitting down. This is going to blow you away. Wait till you see this. I will personally host your official book launch. I will rent the hotel room. I will bring in everybody. I will put hundreds of people in that room, all at my own expense. I will host your official book launch. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. And I am prepared to do that for you. Get your book done. I will host your official book launch. And here is the very hugest. If all those aren't huge enough, here is the very hugest. There is no risk to you whatsoever. No risk to you whatsoever. That's why people race to get into my program. Why? Because there's this 11-point guarantee which we will send you as soon as you register. 11-point guarantee, no risk to you whatsoever. You might say, well, I'll just write a book on my own. Don't you dare because if you write it on your own, it won't come out the way you want. You can't just do something you don't know anything about and think it's going to come out well. Even our leader, Matt Lloyd, said, Raymond, I, I'm, I wrote my own, I've started to write my own book before I met you, but now that I've met you, please help me. And so I did. He had the humility to say, Raymond, please help me. That's what I recommend for you as well. I'm sure you've heard of T. Harv Eker. Ask him one day whenever you see him who his very first coach was because it was me. And now he's world famous, not necessarily because of me, but I started him on his path. And now he has a book, which is a number one New York Times bestseller. But if you're still sitting there wondering, here is the absolute best news of all. It is time for a change. It is time to cure invisibility. It is time to rise the ladder of wealth. It is time to create wows. It is time for transformational change in your life. It is time for an absolutely no risk guarantee of success. It is time for a giant discount. I'm about to release the website domain that you go to. So get ready. I'm allowing 67 and that's it. I told you it's a small car, but I'm going to dramatically reduce it. Here it is. It's $6,800. $6,800, way less than titanium cost. $6,800. Escape the sea of sameness. Get up onto the island of individuality. Float down the river of relevant differentiation. Make yourself different and special because you have a book. Stop struggling. Stop being so exhausted. It's not my fault that my how-to book has outsold your novel, Dad. You can't go back to make a new start, but you can start today and make a brand new end, and that's what I'm going to do for you in just several minutes. You're unique and special pretending that you're ordinary. You've got to stop that. You're unique and special pretending that you're not as special as you are, but you're very special and you're not letting people know that. Here's my final, final discount. Get ready. You will love it. Why am I giving you this additional discount? Because it's my birthday. It's my 71st birthday. Not exactly today, but just recently. It was my 71st birthday, and I'm extending my birthday today to give you a gift. Do you want a little gift or a big gift? I'm sure you want a big gift, so here it is. You know that I'm going to give you a big gift because I love Moe and I love Matt Lloyd. And so here it is. The website address to enroll is coming up really, really soon. I told you it's limited to 67. Get ready. Get your fingers ready to type the, the website domain name because I'm reducing it from $6,800 to only $2,800. Only $2,800, of course, in U.S. currency. Only $2,800. That's the best deal I've ever, ever offered. The website address is on the very next slide. Get ready. Here it is. Moog.com slash more money. Moog.com slash more money. Moog.com slash more money. There's more benefits to come, but if you're convinced right now, then race right now and get in because if you wait for all the benefits, it'll likely be gone. I usually sell out. This is your opportunity to get in. Moog.com 
slash more money, mobe.com slash more money. So there are some people who are racing, oh my gosh, no, that's not possible. How do people type their, no, that's, wow. I guess somebody had their uh, credit card number like memorized and set to just insert it because there's already a sale gone through. Wow. So yet another bonus. The $3,000 Ultimate Authors Marketing Guide that I said that I'm not selling here today, wait till you hear this. I'm giving it as a Mo gift absolutely for free at the reduced tuition of only $2,800. You get my incredible six audio Ultimate Authors Marketing Guide, which is $3,000 which costs more than the 2800 it's like you're getting the entire program for free that's amazing now remember it's strictly limited to 67 it's only 2800 it's an absolute guarantee there's no risk to you whatsoever all that's missing in the solution is you I've done everything I'm just missing you it's only 2800 I've given you huge discounts because of my birthday I'm giving you giant branding I'm giving you easier mobile enrolling or an easier business, whatever your other business is, mobe.com slash more money. Oh, they're coming in like crazy now. Wow. Wow. They're, oh, my gosh. That's exciting. I'm enjoying watching the numbers go up. But wait, there's mobe more. There's mobe more. And here it is because what Matt said to me is make it an amazing deal for my mobe clients, my mobe friends. And so I'm going to offer you something special I'm going to offer you a payment plan as well it's 2800 for which you get the three thousand dollar ultimate authors marketing guide or four monthly payments of 787 but there's no marketing guide with that so the bonus for paying in full and it's only 2800 it's not that much the bonus for paying in full is that you get a discount you get huge several discounts and you also get the three thousand dollar ultimate authors marketing guide and the people who are most successful say that it's because of that Ultimate Authors Marketing Guide or four installments starting today of only $787. That's the best deal I've ever offered. That's it. That's the webinar discount. That's the mode discount. That's my birthday discount. You get a guarantee of success. There's no risk to you. What? Oh my gosh, it just jumped. People are, several people are on it. Lots of people are on it at the same time. Wow, this is so exciting. Stephen, are you still on the air? Yes, Raymond, I'm here. Wow, so you you heard me in, uh, in Phuket. I hope I lived up to uh, giving the same excitement and energy on this webinar. And what I want to ask you, Stephen, is there something you noticed in my delivery today that maybe you hadn't noticed when I uh, did it live in Phuket? You know, it just, it just definitely resonated with me that, you know, you need to you need to have that branding. You need to have that positioning uh, to get your business to the next level. You know, I was just making a Facebook post right now. Uh, I'm the upcoming author of the, you know, I really love that line that you said. And, um, you know, after just seeing this for a second time now, it just really resonates with me again. You know, how important it is to actually have that branding, the credibility and the visibility um, to be able to take your business to the next level. You know, let's give the example of a realtor. I, I know that many people are going to uh, get the book because they want to increase their MOB income, but let's just use an example of a realtor. Now, for our friends in the British Commonwealth, they use the term estate agent, but estate agent in the British Commonwealth is what in North America is referred to as a realtor. So I'll just use the word realtor. If, um, if there's a networking function, and one lady is there and she happens to mention to the person she's talking to that she's thinking of selling her home and maybe there are four realtors within earshot and they all pick up their ears they all turn around and they all run up to her and the first three say I'm a realtor pick me I'm a realtor pick me I'm a realtor I'm a realtor pick me well all three of those sound exactly the same even if one of them says I won the president's club award another one says I won the chairman award these are all things that mean something to realtors, but they don't mean anything to her. And then the fourth one would say, I'm the realtor that wrote the book on real estate or whatever the title is, right? Some title like that. Do you get that that, that fourth realtor would get the gig? They would get the listing. They'd be the one. And if they, that guy may not be a great realtor, but because he's got the book, she said, oh, I'm going to go with you. Do you feel that, Stephen? Yeah, definitely, 100%. And, you know, I coach a lot of people 
in network marketing, and I know MOAP isn't network marketing, but it has some similarities in which you encourage people to join. And the problem that everyone has, and, and Matt Lloyd has solved it in, uh, in Mo, but the problem that people have in network marketing is that they're, not, they're nothing special. They're just a person showing a, a plan to somebody. But when they've written a book, people stand up and notice them. In, in the network marketing company that I'm involved in, I, I hold every single record. There's a million customers in North America in the network marketing company I represent, and I hold every speed record. Why? Because I wrote a book. I tell people I wrote a book, and they're, oh my gosh, I want to join your program. It's as simple as that. I hold every record. I was the first to get to the first level, the fastest to get to the second level, the fastest to get to the top level, the fastest to get, why? Because I never had to argue with anyone. I never had to convince anyone. I just said I wrote a book, and they got blown away. So you can use the book for your, if you're a salesman, you can use the book if you're a professional, you can use the book if you're a tradesman, whatever you want to increase your business. And I'll give you an, Stephen, maybe I should give an example. Yeah, definitely. One of, one of my clients uh, sells Lexus. He's a, he's, he works in a car dealership as a car salesman. And he was earning a reasonable amount of money, about $100,000 a year on his Lexus commissions. And then he registers to write a book through me, a 10, 10, 10 book. And he says, I don't know what to write my book on. Because if I write a book on Lexus, then each year it'll be out of date when they come out with the new model. I said, mister, you don't want to brand Lexus. That's Lexus's job. You want to brand yourself. That's your job. And I told him that his title should be How to Cherish a Customer. He said, what? How to Cherish a Customer? What are you talking about? I said, when you go up to somebody who's just walked into your dealership, instead of saying, can I help you, you say, I'd like to give you a copy of my book. I wrote the book, How to Cherish Your Customer, and in it, I declare exactly how well I'll take care of you if you honor me by buying a car through me. Well, they probably go to five other dealerships, and they didn't get a book in any of the other dealerships, and cars these days look pretty well the same. And I bet you, because he hands out a book, he's going to be chosen. His income, as soon as his book was done, his income went from $100,000 to the two hundred dollars to $300,000 range because almost everyone said, I want to buy through you. If that's how you're going to take care of me, I'm going to hold you to what says in this book. His income went from $100,000 to the two hundred dollars to $300,000 range the day his book came out because his sales just skyrocketed. And you can do it for selling. You can do it for trades. You can do it for your MOBA affiliate. Whatever it is that you want, the book does, oh my gosh, the sales are jumping in. Oh, we're, we're nearing the 67, so make, if, you're, if you're thinking about it, you need to do it. If you're thinking about it, you need to do it. If you need spousal approval, if you need to get permission to, to spend just a few hundred dollars, then you, you better do something different. So, Stephen, what else did you notice about the presentation? What, what really triggered you? What did you say, oh my God, i got to have that? Yeah, definitely. You know, just the whole part about, you know, all the people that you've partnered with and, and where the where the book takes you to in terms of having that kind of celebrity status. You know what I mean? OK. And, you know, that's that's really the most important part for me. It's it's where you told me, um, you know, all the objections of, of joining Moab go away when you have a book, because, you know, like you said, you know, being part of past network marketing companies and uh, other opportunities, the first question that you get is, how much money have you made? Is this thing a scam? You know, did these things actually work? But when you have that positioning device, that really gets rid of all those excuses. Right. Right. By the way, let me give you some feedback. I've just, um, my controller has just sent me a text. Almost everyone who has purchased so far, it, well, way more than half have purchased at the pay in full amount, probably because of the extra discount and also because they get the Ultimate Authors Marketing Guide, which is a $3,000 value. Uh, so I'm just giving you that update. Excellent. Yeah, the, the branding is powerful, and giving a book away as a gift, giving your own book away as a gift, imagine just how it will increase your own personal self-esteem. That's exciting. Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm so excited about this. Last time I remember after you spoke, I got really amped up about it. And uh, just seeing somebody like you and all the stuff that you've accomplished and how you told your whole story of how you went from, you know, being 39 years old, being dead broke to where you're at right now. 
um, that really resonates with me that, you know, you truly can turn everything around. And when you have a positioning device like this, it really does turn around, turn everything around. Yeah. You know, people these days who aren't doing that well, they think they can do it on their own, but the proof they can't do it on their own is their results. Just look at your results. If you like your results, then keep doing what you're doing. But if you're not earning what you feel you should be earning, not because you're greedy, but because you want to have a better life or want to leave a legacy for your kids or give to charity or build a church or build a school or whatever you want to do. If you want to do more and have a better life, if you want to go business class instead of economy, you know, if, if you want to just have some of the goodies of life, want to have a better retirement, you've got to be branded. The people who are branded command far, far more income. And if you look, let's take a, a person like um, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods was branded not only as the greatest golfer that ever lived, but he was also branded as a wonderful family guy. He never swore. He was always polite. He was always the last person off the driving range at night. They had to turn the lights on for him. He was just a wonderful guy and a great model of behavior. And he was getting $120 million a year in endorsements by companies that wanted a, a great family man to represent them, represent their brand. And then when his unusual sexual fantasy life came to light, his endorsements dropped from $120 million a year to $20 million a year. He dropped $100 million a year because his brand dropped. Your brand can go up and your brand can go down. Even a guy as world famous as Tiger Woods, his brand can drop. And if your brand drops, his, his ability to represent a company didn't change. His ability to golf didn't change, but his income changed. And another one whose brand went way down, I don't want to be a downer, but Lance Armstrong. His speaker fee was $100,000 when he won the Tour de France the seventh time. And then when he admitted on Oprah that he cheated, his speaker fee went to zero. Not a single person would hire him. If he called me personally and said, I'll speak for you for free, I, I wouldn't even allow him on my stage because people would say, Raymond's endorsing cheaters these days? I don't get it. And then my brand would fall. So if you can see by those examples that your brand can fall, even a world-famous person's brand can fall, then it's obvious to you that your brand can also rise. And of course it did. Lance Armstrong's speaker fee before he won his first Tour de France was zero. Then when he won the first one, maybe it was $1,000, and then it went up to 100000 So your brand can rise and your brand can fall. And of course, as his brand was rising, as he was winning more and more Tours de France, and as he was fighting cancer, he wrote a book. And the book was called, It's Not About the Bike. Everyone, everyone who's successful has a book. And when you have a book, your brand rises. When you don't have a book, you stay in the sea of sameness. You know what it's like to be in the sea of sameness because you've been there all your life. It sucks in the sea of sameness. And I want to get you out into the river of relevant differentiation. I want to get you up into the island of individuality. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Where you were talking about the nails and, and not being separated and, and who's going to end up getting the sale at the end of the day, it definitely comes down to, you know, you know, being the being the different person. Yeah, if you're special, they want you. And let's think of Apple. This is so interesting, Stephen. Now, I'm an Apple freak. I, I love Apple. But the truth is that Samsung Galaxy is a darn great cell phone. And in some ways, the Galaxy is a little better than the iPhone. And in some ways, the iPhone is a little better than Galaxy. But they're both amazing phones. Can, can you grant me that? Yeah, definitely. I completely agree. Yeah, they're both great. And so if you could rate phones out of 100, maybe one of them is 99.7 and the other is 99.6. But so what? They're both so amazing it hardly matters. And yet, and yet... When the next Galaxy, let's say the next Galaxy comes out on the same day that the iPhone 7 comes out, we both know that there'll be a lineup 10 blocks long for the iPhone 7, and there'll be no lineup for the Galaxy. And on top of that, 
iPhone 7 will be for sale at three times the price of Samsung Galaxy. So why would someone pay three times more for basically the same phone? And why would they line up for 10 blocks for three weeks to get it? And the answer is Apple is more branded. Apple is better branded. I'm not saying the Galaxy is not a good phone. I admit it, it's a great phone, but the branding isn't as great. And therefore, Apple can sell its phone at three times the price and then people line up to get it. That's the difference. It doesn't matter how great you are. It matters how well you're branded. It doesn't matter how great you are because Samsung Galaxy is great. It's just not as well branded. And if you look around the world, you'll see that those things that are well branded are making a fortune. And those things that are just great products are just ho-hum in terms of selling. It's got to be a great brand. And when you're well branded, you make a fortune. Well, the sales are still coming in. This is so exciting. So, Stephen, I think we've answered, I think we've talked about everything. Is there an option to have questions come in now? Yeah, or, yeah. Um, if you, any of you guys have questions for Raymond, just post them in the chat box now and uh, we'll get those answered for you. Okay, so I'm opening up questions and I'm opening up chat and they can put it in either one. Let's see. Okay, my friends. So I don't see any questions. Yeah, I don't either. It looks like uh, we might have covered everything here. Um, how much time will you spend with us to write one book? Well, I have instructional videos that explain the entire thing, and I assign my own personal book architect, the person who helps me get my book done, to, the, to these MOBE clients. So you'll get my best, and then I personally spend time with you. I will spend up to three days, night and day. Did you hear me? I will spend up to three days, night and day, working with you to get your book done. In person, face to face, three days. I know it sounds hard to believe, but I'll do that. Excellent, excellent. Um, next question is from Kenneth. He wants to know how much lead time is required for a book launch in Australia? Oh, look at all these questions. Oh, my God, there's thousands of them. Holy mackerel, I didn't even see them. Um, I don't have a date for a book launch in Australia, but uh, there will be one in 2016, yes. Excellent. Okay. Um, let's see. Are there three, what is this? Are there three different registrations and different prices? No, there's one place to register, and that's mobe.com slash more money. And there are two different prices, and you can see them on the screen right now. 2800 and that includes absolutely for free a guarantee and the $3,000 Ultimate Authors Marketing Guide, or four installments, four monthly easy installments of 787, and no marketing guide. There, so there's two prices, not three. I don't know where you see three. But I'm glad I've cleaned that up for you. Will the book launch be held in the author's country? I can't commit to that because there's 150 countries. But there will be in several of them. You spend three days face-to-face. -face. I live in Malaysia. How can we do this? You'll see. You'll see. I mean it. No money now. Can I do this at another time and for how much? Well, you might be able to do it another time, but certainly not at this price. This is a special deal that Matt Lloyd insisted. Re, once the book is written, etc. I have no idea what that means. Re, once the book is written, etc. I think she wrote a previous comment. It was... um. Do you promote via webinars? As Do I promote? Uh, the books. Do I promote her book through a webinar? Yeah, I think that's what she's asking. Not sure. I, your job is to promote your book. 
but I will list your book on Amazon and I will host your your uh, launch. What can you do for me? I've only got $500. I'm, I've already uh, reduced the price several times on. Are you in Canada? I am. I live in Toronto. I'm a proud Canadian, Barbara. What price later? I don't know, but it'll be higher, Naomi. This is your opportunity. But notice something, Naomi. It's only four installments of 787. It's only a few hundred dollars today. I respect you if you don't have that. But at your age, whatever your age is, 30, 40, 50, if you don't have a few hundred dollars, then like if for all the years you've been working, if you don't have a few hundred dollars, there's something wrong with with how you're conceiving money is. There's something wrong with your understanding of how life works. I'm not putting you down. I'm just saying, just look at the reality. I know because when I was 39, I was worse off than you. And I had to learn. And so what I did, I just borrowed the money. I just did anything I could to get in on this. I didn't ask about later. I grabbed it. Oh, look at all these questions. Is the book launch for one book or are these grouped together with other books? Yes. Several people will have a launch at the same time. There are three options after you purchase, Platinum, Platinum Plus, and Advanced. What is the difference? You're being offered the Platinum Plus program, and that's the 2800 So there's only one offer being made to you. Kristen says yes. Good. I'm glad we agree. Barbara says I am too. Good. I'm glad we agree. I wish I could. I wish you could too. I am in the registration page and Platinum Plus members, Platinum members and Advanced members. Yes, Platinum Plus is the full $2,800. That's the one I recommend to you. If you can see the others and you want to register at the other prices, then uh, go ahead. But that's the only one I'm offering. I apologize that the others are visible to you. Does the content matter? Must we keep it simple? Must it be about making money? Or can it be about politics, philosophy, music? You can write about your great-grandfather who was in the Boer War. You can write any book that you want. If you don't want to make money at it, you can write any book you want. I teach you how to write a book that will help you make money, but you don't have to. You can write a book on any topic that you wish. If I happen to come back to you for my book, what will be the probable price? Higher. Sunil, it will be higher. Today's the day to grab it. I plan to come back to you in February. What will be your price? It will be higher, Sunil. I don't know the price, but it will be higher. You rock. Thanks, Raymond. Look forward to meeting you in person sometime. Well, that's great, Steve. Where do you live? Just tell me where you live. Maybe I will be giving a presentation there soon. And Tony Albert says, I have paid. When can we get started? Okay, I will make a note to make sure that Tony Albert gets called first. And I'm glad you're so excited. Congratulations to you. Steve Bordewick says, Orange County, California. Ah, oh my gosh, I'm giving two speeches in Orange County. Not in Orange County, I'm giving two speeches in California in December. So when your personal book architect contacts you, just say, tell me where Raymond's going to be. I want to go visit him. And it'll be uh, in the first half of December. So, oh, isn't that wonderful? I'll get to see you, Steve. Oh, my God, look at all these coming in. What book topics will make you the absolute most money in the long run? Well, it's a process. You have to play the videos, and the video will explain to you exactly how you choose the topic. And if you're not sure, then I'll personally work with you. Kenneth said, I enjoyed your webinar, Raymond, and have subscribed. Look forward to working with you. Oh, Kenneth, that's wonderful. It's December. I know it's December. Hey, Raymond? I, yeah? Hey, real quick, just what was the URL that people should go to to take action? Oh, my God, that's a good point. It's mobe.com slash more money. Mobe.com slash more money. Here, there you go. Put it on the screen now. Mobe.com slash more money. Thank you. Yes, I'm going to be in California giving speeches twice in the first half of December. Are you coming to Connecticut or New York or MA is Maryland, I think, anytime soon? I don't have my schedule in front of me for 2016, but Alex, 
you're on our if you purchase then you're on our mailing list and we'll tell you when I'm coming to your area Raymond can you check to see if the credit card was attached tomorrow I will prop up the money can you check to see if the credit card was attached oh I see well I can't my controllers handling that but if there's any problem we'll be in touch with you I'm from London Ontario well that's just an hour's drive I live in Toronto I would love to meet you sometime I'm blown away thank you for this amazing insight well Kyle if you if you purchase my program then you're on our database and we'll be contacting you about events that I'm hosting in Toronto and if you didn't purchase my program then you're not my client you're Moog's client and um, I can't I can't go around Matt and bypass him I won't do that so you will be here in a couple of weeks no that's not what I said I said I'll be in California twice in the first half of December I have a book in mind right now well Barbara congratulations I'm very excited and I'll help you write it Sunil again it's really fantastic idea to have my own book you're right you are too good Raymond hope I will come back to you in February okay I hope you do too should look at all these Steve I've never had so many this is amazing should we plan to go to the boot camp in Los Angeles in two weeks absolutely absolutely I am very happy and humble to be part of your team Ali I welcome you I'm Helen I'm already watching the welcome video all right Oh, right, she's already watching the welcome video. Helen, you're my new best friend. Oh, my gosh, I love you. Great news. You're a great Canadian. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, we finally hit the last comment. But you know what, Stephen? I missed about 100 comments. So if you... Yeah, during the beginning, they were just loving the content that you were sharing. Uh, they were kind of just saying, you know wow this is absolutely amazing we're loving it and uh, those types of comments throughout I was monitoring it um, but mainly those but you know what I don't need to go to sleep I think my wife's already in bed asleep so I'm free <laughs> so if you want to ask me more questions I'm excited and, and uh, uh, Stephen you're gonna have to ask uh, Matt for overtime pay because <laughs> no one's going away <laughs> Allie, I am watching the welcome video too yay Allie this is amazing Oh, look at this. Yay, I hope to enroll next year. Awesome, and thanks, guys. This is Annie. I saw the intro video. Look at this. People are already enrolled. They're already watching the intro video. Thank you. Carolyn says thank you. Carolyn Coker Hughes. Well, thank you. I'm Raymond Leonard Aaron, Carolyn Coker Hughes. Wow, this is so much fun. How do I contact you? You can't. You can't contact me because I'm. You're not my client. You're you're Mobe's client, and so if you want to get through to me, you have to go through Mobe. You can't go. You can't bypass Mobe and come to me because you're not my client. So um, if you're if you if you're in my program, of course, then you become my client and I can work with you. Stephen, do they understand that that right now they're Mobe's client? and they become my client when they purchase my program but if they don't purchase my program it's not proper for them to come to me because then the all the work that Moog did to get them as a client I would be bypassing can you explain that well yeah no I think you made it clear so if they head over to Moog.com slash more money and they get started and they they get the program tonight um, that means that they're going to be able to work with you right and Barbara says I'm watching the video as well isn't this wonderful everyone's why oh look at all these comments this is any I have already published three books but not made any money that's because you didn't put the 31 marketing messages remember I told you that you know this Stephen it's, it frustrates me so much a good person like any full name is any Ruda has written three books but the three books didn't make any any money left off all 31 of the marketing messages so all that time was completely wasted and I feel so bad but when you write a book under my program 
and put in all 31 marketing messages. Then you collect a database and you have the right length book because your books are probably the wrong length. Anyways, I, I feel really bad that you didn't know anything about writing a book, but you went ahead and did something that you don't know how to do. And, you know, congratulations on your enthusiasm. But without any training, don't expect that you have written a great book. I mean, the content was great, but it didn't make you any money. I'm sorry about that. Jan says, I've already watched the welcome video. It's good. Actually, Jan wrote, it's God. <laughs> I'm God, at least today. At least Jan says so. So I accidentally signed up under advance. Is that a problem? Yes, that means that you have paid only seven eighty seven and get very few benefits. So what I what I recommend you do is go back in and register under the Platinum Plus and then we'll give you the refund for the seven eighty seven because we won't let you double enroll. How is the topic for the book chosen so quickly? Is it the first step? I subscribe, but just wondering if you can comment when I've got you live. The topic is the very, very first thing. It's the very first video helps you choose the purpose and the target audience. And I'll just teach you something right now. There are two purposes, and everybody gets it confused. So, Stephen, this is a really important point. The purpose for the reader is always the same. The purpose for the reader is to know what you know. So that's always, always, always the same. What you need is the purpose for you. Is the purpose for you to get a higher level clientele? Is the purpose for you to get your business going? Is the purpose for you to attract people to you who will become MOBA affiliates under you? You have to determine the purpose for you and you do that in your very, very first video. I'm glad you asked about that. Jan says, I'm so excited. Wow, I'm so excited too. And he says, I'm looking forward to it. I hope so because the first three books didn't do you any good and I want this next book under my guidance to do you great. I try, but it only comes up as an advance now. Well, I'm sorry, but when we, when we contact you, we'll ask you if you'd like to upgrade to Platinum Plus. So I apologize that advanced came up, but we'll correct that. Don't worry. I will alert my staff to that. Oh my gosh, everyone is so excited. We're going to just go around the clock. This is going to be a 24-hour webinar. I wonder if I get overtime. <laughs> Reggie Green says, Robert Kiyosaki also talks about you starting on page 186. Yes. Yes, he spends 186 and 187 about me, but I just mentioned 187. Thank you for, boy, he read it. Reggie had checked me out. You checked me out, Reggie. Wow. Good man. I'm glad you found me there. Oh, so I'm glad they're asking all these questions. Okay, so Luann says, I'm so excited. I'm in the process of writing an ebook now. So this will help with that too. Yes, and here's the first thing I want to say to you. Don't you dare publish an ebook. Don't you dare. Because nobody respects you for publishing an ebook. Nobody. It's like having a Hotmail account. It's the lowest of the low. If you want to publish an ebook, go ahead. I'm just telling you I don't recommend it. Why? Because if you say to somebody, I wrote an ebook, <clears throat> nobody is going to raise an eyebrow. It's like saying I have a blog, like who cares? Nobody cares if you wrote an ebook, but they care if you've written a book. Now you can convert your book into an ebook. Like my books are all available as ebooks, I just don't tell you that. Because a book has a giant brand and an ebook has a lousy brand. So if you're going to write an ebook, you might as well tell people you're writing a book. Because it's exactly the same thing. The difference between an ebook and a book is that a book has a back cover and a spine, and an ebook doesn't. So, why would you hurt yourself by calling it an ebook? Call it a book and then quietly publish it as an ebook without telling people. Okay, this is an e. I have all Kiyosaki's books. My favorite was Rich Dad Poor Dad. Very good. That, any, that most people have that as their favorite too. But of course, my favorite is Cash Flow Quadrant because I'm in it.
Anyone else? It's always the same people. Always the same people. Ani, Steve. Let's get a new face here. Okay. Christine says, better program it seems than my mate Doug's or Terran's. They do webinars, though I think to promote it, as well as media outlets. Okay. Good. Thanks. And Christine says, we appreciate your time, Raymond. Thank you. Well, I love the energy. I love the energy. I think Stephen's fading. Are you fading? Uh -huh. Yeah, no, I mean, we still have a couple hundred people left here uh, with us. You know, we've been going for an hour and 40 minutes now. Um, I, I just heard word from your controller, Raymond, that we do have a couple spots left um, that you're still accepting into the program. So if anybody, if you haven't taken action or you're still on the fence, just head on over to mobe.com slash more money. And you can secure that spot today and get instant access to the program. As you saw, many of the people on tonight's webinar already started watching the welcome videos. Um, and everybody is clearly excited about this, including myself, Raymond. Yes. Now, there's someone who calls himself the Offers 101. I think maybe it's a guy. And he says, what's the point of an ebook?" And the answer is, an ebook is for people who don't understand that a book has a brand and an ebook doesn't. So an ebook is mostly a mistake. But it does have some value, and that is it's a great lead generator. And it also allows you to sell something at a lower price. So instead of selling a book for twenty or thirty dollars, you can sell an ebook for ten dollars or five dollars. So there is a little place for it, but for example, I wrote a book, Double Your Income, Doing What You Love, and I tell people I wrote the book, Double Your Income, Doing What You Love. You can go to one of my websites and download it for free as an ebook, but I don't tell you that. Why? Because I don't want to tell you that I wrote an ebook when I wrote a book. So an ebook has a tiny purpose. It's a lead generator, and it can make you some money, but there's no branding to it. It's like saying you have a blog. They're just, nobody's interested. Okay, oh, look at these. Ani says, this is Ani. I published two books as ebooks. Perhaps that was my problem. Well, you didn't really publish an ebook. There's no such thing as publishing an ebook. You wrote an ebook. You called it an ebook. It gave you no branding whatsoever and did nothing for you. That's the problem. When you don't get any training, when you don't get any coaching, when you don't know what you're doing, then you'll spend lots of energy and get no results. So I'm really sorry, Ani, but when you do it my way, you'll get results. Sorry I missed the beginning. Okay, I'm sorry you missed the beginning, but I, I'm sure that Moab is going to be replaying this, so they'll be announcing the, uh, the, the archive of this, and you can listen to it again. Kenneth Zander says, this is a great opportunity. You're darn right it is, Kenneth. And Shamira says, Raymond, what additional cost should be expected after all the work and effort you include in this special offer? And the answer is, we don't include editing and formatting. And the reason is, we used to include it, but then people got upset because, let's say, one person's mother was an English teacher, and they got upset that, they, that we bundled the editing and formatting costs into the price and they could have got the editing for free. So we've unbundled it. That's not included now, but it's small. It's a few hundred dollars. And you can and if you know someone who can do it, they can do it for you. Otherwise, there's no other costs. There's nothing else whatsoever. Stephen, please check your email. I couldn't complete my payment in the first fifteen minutes. I didn't say you had to do it in the first fifteen minutes. I, I think you're worried that if you didn't do it in 15 minutes, you can't get in. But I didn't say that. You can still get in. Just go there right now and register, and you're in. A-I-K, A -I, -K, I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. A Kun Chan. So just go there and register. The Offers 101 says, will a poetry book be monetizable? No. A really simple answer, no. You write your poetry books and about your great-grandfather who fought in the Boer War as your spiritual book. And there's a good reason to write a spiritual book because it's a great legacy and it makes you feel good. It just won't make you any money. 
and I talk all about that in the videos. Ake Hedman says, thank you. Well, thank you. Vance Maxey says, this is an amazing program. I look forward to joining you as soon as I can. Well, Vance, I sure hope you do. I sure hope you do. Now we've still got hundreds of people. The Offers 101 says, what about life coaching or spiritual advancement books? Yes. Yes, of course. Write a book on what you want to make money at. That's exactly what you do. And it'll, it's all explained in the very first module. Thanks a lot for your time. I enjoyed the seminar. Signing off. Okay, good night, Annie. And Christine Horan wrote, at work now, but hope to get to the videos when I get home. All right, boy. Christine is a total keener. Wow. Excellent. Excellent. Still got this is so much fun. They're playing the videos already. This is so exciting. I think you got them all, Raymond. I think you just want to go to bed. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> we still have so many people on the line. I wonder yeah, why they're here. We do. I think we uh, – let me just double check. Yeah, it looks like we do have a couple spots here left. You said you were accepting 67, right? Yeah. Excellent. So if you guys haven't already, just head over to mobe.com slash more money and, uh, and get started tonight. I mean, this is absolutely an amazing offer to to get started and build your brand up and become that authority figure. And, you know, Raymond, like I said, uh, at the Titanium Mastermind, everybody loved you. And uh, I think we have so many people still on the line right now because they just don't want to they don't want to hang up. It's so amazing. <laughs> well, I think I've answered everybody's questions. And so maybe we should do is uh, say goodbye. I don't want anybody who's on the line to leave without saying goodbye. I love you. Thank you. You're terrific. Say something like that. I, that's what I would like. I've given you two hours of total passion and energy and wisdom that I've collected over the years. And what I want is your acknowledgement. So just type in, I love you. You're amazing. Can't wait to see you again. Will you be at another MOB? Uh, event, you know, just whatever you want, and nobody's responding. <laughs> Here you go. Oh wow, look at them all. There they are. You got that great. But you guys get some sleep. Okay, we will. You should do a private mobe Facebook group. Wow, there's an idea. Good night, thanks guys. Okay, and the offers 101 said, how can you be reached for biz dev? Um, well, I, you're not my client, so you can't reach me. But uh, if you see me at a MOBE event, I'm happy to talk to you. And Fauster Agbo said goodbye, goodbye. And Aik Hoon Chan said, Raymond, you're awesome, thank you. And Christine Horan said, love you guys. And Peter Schmidt said, thank you, you're awesome, see you in Los Angeles at the boot camp. And Tony Albert said, good to see you in Phuket. And Naomi said, thank you so much for the webinar. And Kim Walker said, thank you. I'll be seeing you. And The Offers, that's a strange name, The Offers 101. I really like your presentation. Thank you, The Offers. Can I call you The for short? And Aid said, I love you, Aaron. See you at another event. Great. And Vance says, your passion comes through, but especially your joy. Thank you. And Reggie said, pleasure listening to you, Raymond. Have a great night. Can't wait to see you at a MOBE event. And Sunil said, whoa, Raymond, very happy and excited about the whole idea of my book. Hope to see you in February. I'm signing off. Thanks, Raymond and Stephen, once again for the insights. You're amazing. Look forward to seeing you soon. And Naomi wrote, got so much out of it. And Carolyn said, eager to meet you. And Van said, thanks, sir. And Christine said, just downloaded your free PDF doing what you love, as I have a new mentor teaching us that. Thanks, Heaps, Raymond, and Matt. You are both awesome, amazing to meet you both in person soon. You rock. Thank you. Ake says good night. Barbara says goodbye, Raymond. You're so appreciated. See you in December. And Regina says good night and thank you. Oh, my God, there's more. How can we do biz dev? Well, you have to meet me at an event. I can't give you my contact information because you're not my client, but I do love your enthusiasm. 
Tony says, I saw you in Phuket. Good to learn from you again. Thank you. That's amazing. Kenneth says, look forward to working with you. Another Kenneth says, thanks. Luann says, thank you so much. Have a great night. Love the Facebook thing. Yeah, that's interesting. You pronounce my name very well. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Christine says, goodbye. Tony says, I'm excited to get started. I'm all fired up to get my book out. Chandra says, wow. The Offer says, thank you, Raymond. Carolyn says, thank you, love you. I love you. Christine says, thank you so much. The Offer says, what other events might we find you in? Oh, my gosh. I speak every week. I can't list them all, but I love your enthusiasm. Foster said, goodbye, Matt. And Shamira says, love the webinar. One of the best I've ever heard so far. Great content. Flew, flow and spoken very well. Thanks, Raymond. Elizabeth said, you are awesome. Van said, thanks, Stephen. Oh, you got some airtime, Stephen. <laughs> My 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> Helen says, thank you, Raymond. Joshua says, thank you for the great wisdom. Quick question. How many times have you done this webinar, or is this your first time? As a webinar, this is my second time. The first time was last night. As a speech on stage, I've given it a thousand times over three years. Not a thousand. Uh, about 300 times over the last three years. Naomi, I want to purchase in a few months. Good for you, Naomi. Christine says, amazing, awesome, thanks, awesome, thanks, guys. Naomi says, even at the higher price. Thank you. Kenneth says, goodbye. Zaya says, good night. Thank you. John Chow said, Raymond, it was great to meet you at Phuket. Oh, I remember John. Kenneth says, good afternoon, Raymond. The offer says, when and where in Los Angeles? Oh, for God's sakes. Um, the offers, if you've joined the program, then we'll tell you where. If you haven't joined the program, I can't give you any contact information because you're not my client. Eric Coe says, wow, great branding education. You're simply great. Goodbye. Jin T. Ping says, great webinar, Raymond. Goodbye. Sarah Retta says, thank you. Highly appreciated. Really good. Good night. Russell Herbert says, just registered on faith as I was late for the Webby. See you in Los Angeles. Wow. You registered on faith. I love it. Excellent. And I think that's the end. There's still lots of people. They just want to hear me read everyone's goodbye. <laughs> Mobe.com slash more money. The website says it all. The offer says, I have you in my song, Raymond. Thank you, the offers. <laughs> Thank you very much. The offers 101. What do you think that means, Stephen? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Just uh, <laughs> didn't want to use their real name. Well, let's call them the for short. <laughs> I heard you say that. Okay, there's still so many people on the line. <laughs> He's agreed to letting you call him the. Okay. Oh, here it is. Oh, the offer says fine. And Gerardo Marquez says, just arrived home. Can I hear the webinar later? Yes, Gerardo. Mob is going to be replaying it several times. And Eric Ko says, by the way, Raymond, how do people from Asia PLS? What does that mean? By the way, Raymond, how do people from Asia PLS? I think that's uh, short for please, but it doesn't make sense. No. Maybe how do people from Asia do? Oh, listen, my Asian clients are the best ones. They're the hardest workers. Ake says publish. Okay. <laughs> Not exactly sure what Ake means, but yeah, right on. Publish. You got it, man. That's two in a row that we're not exactly sure what it means. <laughs> Probably. Okay. They're not leaving. They're saying goodbye, they're not leaving. <laughs> like if you subtract the number of people who said goodbye from the total before, 
it should be much lower. They're saying goodbye and they're staying. They don't want to leave us, Stephen. They want more of us. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh my God, look at it. Sorry, how can Asians work with you, please? Well, I have clients all over the world. You speak Cantonese? Uh, if you mean, can you write a book in in another language except English, the answer is yes. If you mean, can you live in whatever city you want or whatever country you want and still be my client, the answer is yes. Just register. We'll take great care of you. A Kun Chan says, I think he means publish the book. Okay, I'll publish it for him. Steve says, sleep time for you guys, not logging off until you stop talking. Ah! <laughs> Meditation. He's not going to leave until I stop talking. The says, how would it work for a series of books? Write your first book first, then make it a series. Eric Coe says, what about a physical launch? Yeah, I pay for the launch. I take care of it all for you. That's all explained in the very last video. Well, at least someone's telling the truth. I'm not leaving until you guys stop. Isn't that funny? Maybe I should tell some Jewish jokes. <laughs> oh, man. Jahari. Jahari says, sorry, credit card problems will take 10 minutes to clear. Still offer stands? Yes, Jahari. The offer still stands. We love you. Don't worry. Take your time. Do it well. No problem. And Jahari again says Joe Malaysia. Joe Malaysia. I I think he means he lives in Malaysia. Another enigmatic entry. The says should we also do videos, newsletters, and other pre post follow ups for the book? Um, it's all explained in the videos, really. I know you're so keen but all the videos explain everything and it's hard to give an answer because the answers all interact with each other so you're trying to take one thing out separately you do videos but you there's a very special place for them and it's it's all explained you'll see you'll love the program eric says sorry physical launch outside usa please yes i do launches in england canada United States, and I have plans for launches in um, Australia, New Zealand, possibly South Africa. Yeah, I'll be doing a lot of launches, official book launches in different countries. The says, do tell your good Jewish jokes. Oh, for gosh sakes, the. I, I, I. <laughs> no one's leaving. No one is leaving. This is crazy. It's like this. If we sign out, we wouldn't get the jokes. <laughs> I'm going to tell Matt that we should have a webinar just of Jewish jokes. I think that's what people really want these days. And the says, hey, you offered. I know. I know. I don't know. Should I tell a Jewish joke, Stephen? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that one's on your brand. Right. So Mo Moishi's in a bus, and he's reading an Arab newspaper. And this rabbi comes on and says, Moishi, what are you doing? And blasphemy, you shouldn't be reading an Arab newspaper. Moishi says, when I read the Jewish newspapers, all I read about is the desecration of Jewish graves and about the uh, the prejudice against Jews around the world and the desecration of synagogues and when I read the Arab newspaper it's all about Jews running all the banks and Jews being wealthy the Arab newspapers have better news <laughs> oh god maybe that wasn't the best one <laughs> oh that said it's a good one all right 
And Christine said, ha, ha, ha. Thank you, Christine. Thank you for being nice. Thus says, just explain it plays on a stereotype. Can't explain a joke. Yeah, it is a stereotype. I, I'm sorry if I offended anyone. But since I'm Jewish, it's okay. Uh, and it also it also makes Arabs look good, so it's okay. It makes Jews look bad and Arab looks good. It is okay, thank you, the <laughs> Thus says you are Jew approved. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I hope I hope Matt Lloyd isn't like checking in and seeing just the last minute of the webinar. But, oh my God, what's happened? Raymond has expropriated my webinar. Carolyn says okay. I'd rather have a laugh, but I'll take okay. I think the only way people. I tried to get people to go away by having them say goodbye. It didn't work. They yeah, said yeah. goodbye to the stage. Have you ever had this happen before? Raymond, I mean, come on. We've had all these people on. Are you going to give away the secret now or, or, or later? What secret? <laughs> I'm what just... do I want? <laughs> the hidden secret. The hidden secret is branding. And everybody knows that big companies like Apple and Microsoft and IBM and Nike, they all are branded. You see a, a swoosh, you know that it's Nike. You see an, a white apple with a bite taken out of the top right corner, you know it's Apple. You see those four windows, you know it's Microsoft. And yet, Small businessmen don't realize they have to be branded also. And you can't be branded with a swoosh. You have to be branded with a book. You know, Raymond, uh, something you shared at the Mastermind that I've been going around telling everyone um, is the, the Pepsi and the Coke thing that you shared. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's more. Christine says, yeah, Matt would think it's funny. And Carolyn laughed. Oh, that's good. Fauster says, do you have clients from Africa? I do. I have many, many clients in uh, South Africa. And Carolyn is making a happy face and thus says, so basically you're saying that for books to be monetizable, they have to be only about making money. No, I didn't say that at all. Not at all. If you're a dentist, you write a book about oral health. That's not about making money. No, the book doesn't have to be a the book doesn't have to teach making money. The book has to be about what you want to make money at. But a dentist doesn't write a book about making money. A dentist writes a book about oral hygiene. Steve says, see, you keep talking, we keep listening. Now you give us more on branding. Oh, no, now I'm in trouble. Now no one's going to leave. <laughs> Jin T. Ping says, come on. Give Raymond and Steve a break. Time to rest their bodies. So to everyone, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Jen. Oh, my gosh. Christine says, would love to meet you both one day. Cheerio, have to go. Hope you visit Australia soon. i got a lot of clients in Australia. And hope to do both your programs soon. Love the jokes. and come. Oh, she loved the jokes. That's dangerous. <laughs> and Christine said, at, at all right this time, I really got to go. Thanks again to both of you, just giving us great value. Go to bed, guys. I agree. Okay, so I'm actually – Can I? do I have the right to say goodbye already? I think you have the right. Okay, Steve, you're a great host. I love doing it. I had a great time, and I'm honored if Moe is going to be replaying this. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, Raymond. I appreciate you taking time out of your, your busy schedule to get on and share with the Moe community. So thank you so much for that, and uh, and we'll talk soon. Thank you. All right. Good night. Good night, good everybody. Night.